Say less here. What's going on, everyone? Woo, what a game, man. I'm so glad the freaking uh, the NBA is back, man. It, it, it was exciting. I watched most of the first half, a bit of the third quarter. Look, man, these West Coast games are just going to be the death of me, man. I, I just ain't got the energy sway. I woke up, caught the rest of the game, and I want to give my thoughts on everything. I saw a bit of Ticket TV's video. Don't yo. Don't get riled up with Ticket TV's title, man. He makes a lot of he makes a lot of good points, but you know he, he gotta throw in a little bit of LeBron James hate. You know how he gotta do it, man. You gotta sell it, man. Ain't nothing sell it. Nothing sells more than LeBron James hate. Y'all know how it is. But to give Ticket TV a, a lot of credit, man, I will say this: a game like this, right, in which to me, from what I saw, it was one and lost with the bench. LeBron and AD didn't give their best games. LeBron James had some crucial turnovers um, late, trying to do too much. To me, fatigue. It's his first game back in a while. Not an excuse. Like, By the way, everything I'm about to say is not an excuse. It's just an observation from what I'm seeing. I give reasons. They're not excuses. And that's going to go for everybody and everything that I see. Just to point that out point blank, period. Because some of y'all get so caught up with who you like, who you don't like. That like, no one, We're not actually having an NBA discussion. Where, like Everyone just fucking... You know, hold on to the balls of who they like. Anyway, right? Watching the game, for Davis and LeBron fatigue set in because they had to stay on the court a lot longer. I know they only ended up playing like 36, 37 minutes, which, again, that, that is a lot. They weren't able to rest the way the Clippers were able to rest because their bench was so productive. So they got their guy, Kawhi Leonard, coming off fresh. First five minutes into the game, they got Kawhi sitting out able to rest. And Lou Williams comes out here cooking motherfuckers, man. And you look, and then LaCroix comes back and had a stretch where cooking, man, cooking dudes, looking like, to me, I remember last season where everybody was laughing at me, and I was telling them Kawhi Leonard is the best player in the league, looking every bit of that out here, cooking, looking phenomenal, and part and part they were able to do that because the amount of rest they were able to do, the amount of bodies they were able to throw at LeBron, they went from Harkless to Kawhi to um, Beverly to uh there was somebody else to like no it wasn't green they were throwing somebody else at lebron too but just they kept throwing body them they tried to throw beverly lebron got big as he should post him up easy work okay they said fuck that throw Kawhi. Kawhi adam was hitting fadeaways passing getting assists they were like okay fuck that and they and then they kept rotating it which was very smart i mean there's a couple advantages with the clippers from coaching from being a team that's been together a while already right and just knowing what to do and Inputting a guy that's about as easy to input as anyone in the league. Just facts, man. A guy who gets buckets, right, pretty much on his own, off picks real quick, and plays defense. But shit, man, sometimes the best things in life are the simple ones. So Kawhi played an excellent game. But the real game, right, the big difference was in the bench scoring. That's what. That's where really the game was won and lost. Then there's 60 points by the Clippers and I think it was like 20-something by the Lakers. That right there was the issue, right? That right there was the issue. And it's important to note that Paul George didn't play. But it's also important to note that you had Rondo out, which is going to... Rondo's going to be huge for this team because they don't have anybody that can really create and run an offense. I like Quinn Cook, but there's a reason that the Warriors um, let him go. It's not to disparage the brothers. Again, everything I'm saying here is not an excuse or not to undermine anybody. But it's just I'm trying to give y'all my basketball insight there's a reason why quinn cook was let go and he had not one of his better performances but again he's not gonna be facing one of the best defenses in the league night in and night out jared dudley hit two threes and this is where i want to give ticket some credit man before i even go too far into the video jared dudley to me was i mean solid i didn't think he would be getting 13 minutes a game here's what i feel about the lakers man and this is where they make um ticket tv very right if you're not playing Jerry Dudley and he's just on the bench clapping, I don't want that for Carmelo. But if you're going to be out here giving Jerry Dudley minutes, you know, 13, 15 minutes a game, if he's going to be playing, mind y'all, I know Kuz was out. You put Kuz in, Jerry Dudley shouldn't get any minutes, or at least I hope not. But if there is some type of plan to give Jerry Dudley minutes throughout the season, I get it. Defensively, he is solid. Um... You know, like, he knows where he's supposed to be. But they couldn't let LeBron and AD couldn't rest because the bench was so poor because you got a bunch of guys that can't create their own shots. Which, again, you need spacing. You need shooting. It's a good thing. I'm not trying to take it away. 
but Howard didn't play particularly well. Um, he didn't rise to the moment. You know what I mean? You got guys like I think Trey Daniels. He, he was okay. He missed a lot of shots, but again, a guy like him getting minutes. I'm just saying, for a game with that type of atmosphere, I'm looking at Trey Daniels. I'm looking at um, Jared Dudley. One of those dudes you could swap for a guy like Melo just to give you some more options, right? Just to give you somebody that the moment's not going to be too big for him and that, and that could come in and get buckets. Just hypothetically speaking, during some of these stretches, if they could have, right? If they could have had somebody that came would have came in, not maybe not even do what Lou Williams did, but just kind of come in, give you a solid 10 points on his own and be able to break down the offense a little bit more and not have these sets where you just got dudes flat out standing around. It would have been a whole different game. You know what I mean? So I got to give it a ticket TV. If you're going to play Jerry Dudley, if you're going to actually give him minutes, mind you, he hit two out of two threes. That's impressive. But I just feel like the upside of what he can give you, you got enough guys on Lakers that could do that. So when I look at Trey Daniels, I look at Jerry Dudley, it's a bit of a repetitive role. And you need, I feel like, let me not say need because, again, when Kuzma comes back, it's going to be a little bit different because now you, when if Kuzma and Rondo were actually playing, you have a whole different dynamic and you don't got to run AD and LeBron into the ground because you got them coming back in for their first game. And, again, they got a little bit winded. It was a playoff atmosphere. It was a in, high-intensity game. But you look at the Clippers, they played Kawhi 32 minutes. I think that was like the game high in terms of minutes. But you got AD and LeBron already playing 36 and 37. They had to stay on the court a lot more, and that showed in the fourth quarter because both these guys didn't play towards the end of the season. All right? So their gas tank is not full up to, um, for this yet. Neither was Kawhi, but again, the Clippers bench was able to sustain him, and he balled out. This is not to give excuses. Kawhi balled out, had his moments, but you look at the Clippers, they were are, they're just a more balanced team, right? Saying all that, the Lakers, Danny Green played well. Right, Danny Green played well. LeBron, AD, they both played well. AD missed some free throws early on. Um, I felt like he was being really aggressive early on, but he faded down the stretch. I'm not mad at AD. I'm not mad at LeBron. They kind of missed each other on, on some situations. They're figuring out. The team is figuring out how to play together. So I'm not panicking. Like I'm not ready to fire Frank Vogel. Everybody relax. Dwight Howard didn't play particularly well at all. I'm not ready to throw away the baby with the bathwater. They all this will be corrected as time goes on as they play more in the season. But they, to me, the good thing they came out and they played big. They were very effective. They don't need to get away from that, right? I know, like Frank is trying to figure out how to stagger these minutes. When Rondo comes back, it will be a lot easier for him. And definitely, when Kuz comes back, it's gonna be a lot easier for him. I get what he was trying to do, but in terms of Frank Vogel. But it didn't work out the best right now. But if they can, if it's going to be like, if you're really going to give guys like Dudley Minute, man, I don't know what Melo did to somebody in this league or who or why. I don't know what's going on with what they're doing for Melo. But apparently from reports, I don't know how true they are. Y'all know how these reports. LeBron tried to get him on the Lakers and Lakers didn't want to get him or it fell apart for whatever reason. KD and Kyrie tried to get Melo on, on the Brooklyn Nets, but they're playing him. The Heat, I think we could use some, and he'll be a great fit for us, and then we don't want to sign him. I don't know who Melo pissed off. I don't know what he did. I don't know whose girlfriend he stole. I don't, I, I, I don't know, y'all. But he could definitely be used for the, um, for the Lakers. All right, other takeaways I have from the game. The abilities that they did to throw different type of defenders at LeBron, was, it was dope. They went from Patrick Beverly to Harkless to um, Kawhi. They kept switching pretty decent defenders on LeBron, giving him different looks, and really guys that were up in him, making it tough for him throughout the entire game, which one of the reasons he gassed out too. Not all minutes are created um, equally because, again, the Lakers don't have anybody that, that could create like that, again, aside from AD and LeBron. Mind you, because their, def um, their bench could do nothing, you have to have one of these guys in at all times, so you weren't able to have them both come in fresh. It, their lack... Their bench inability to create for themselves, which is why Rondo is so important and LeBron is so important, obviously. It, it's going to hurt them, especially since Rondo, he's been hurt just a lot, man. Like, he's been hurt. I know people don't talk about it, but these past couple of years, he's always getting hurt and missing time. And if that's if that's going to be the case, 
They're going to need guys, at least one person that can just create their own offense. Caruso didn't play. I'm not sure why. I feel like he would have been able to help them a bit. bit. Again, back to Quinn Cook just briefly. He'll be better. KCP, I promise y'all, whenever it's a big game and you need anything from KCP, he doesn't show up. Out of all my recollection, every time I'm thinking, like, you know what, man? If KCP would just come in this game and just drop 20, like, this would be, like, one of the dopest things. Like, if KCP could just come in and do... Every time I have that thought, this motherfucker put up... He either puts up, like, a donut or, like, a one-for-eight game. Mind you, defensively, I thought he was all right, man. I thought he did a, a decent job on Kawhi, but I thought I thought they had him on Kawhi way too much, man. But I thought he did a decent job. But, again, dude, like, KCP, man, like, he just fucking sucks man whenever you need him even on 2k like even when i play 2k i'm playing um you know fucking superstar mode or whatever the hell that is man um and i pass it to kcp and you need a bucket i promise you he always misses man it's crazy but um okay so th- th- there's that so what other point i want to mention lebron actually played very good defense ad played very good defense they got gas. Um, again, you're, you're asking these guys, right, specifically LeBron, whatever, I can call an excuse, to actually play defense at a high level and to um, orchestrate and run the offense at a high level. They're going to get spent. So Kuz is going to be very important to that dynamic. But I like what I saw from the Lakers, man. To get our score by damn near 40 by the bench and only lose by like 10 points with LeBron not having his best game, with AD not having his best game, and Kawhi and Lou going off the way they did, it's actually a very good sign for the Lakers depending on how you want to look at it. To me, if you look at what they did well and what they can improve on, to me, it was a good start, bad finish, right, for them. But this is a newly formed team that had opportunity to get better. Danny Green went slap the fuck off, and he is key and crucial to what they're trying to do. They're going to build around that. They're going to get better with it. And I'm glad that they have a guy like Danny Green who was like, you know, who 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 came to play. So they definitely got to keep Danny Green on the, on the floor a lot more, in my opinion. He played very well. I like what I saw from the Lakers, man. I like the start. I like the, there's a lot of positive things that you can take away from it. I think um, I like um, Anthony Davis on the elbow. I like that. They should still work on getting him a little bit easier shots more often. A lot more pick and rolls. I know the Clippers like to switch everything, but take advantage of that. I don't I don't think they did enough of that because here's the one bad thing you have and why they miss Rondo. To be able to create those mismatches, because again, LeBron is typically being guarded by somebody big or a pretty good defender as well. So when you have the pick and rolls, it would be nice to have a change of pace with a guy like Ronda as well for AD. Just somebody that can get him going a little bit and get him some easier shots because they had him um, not on the top of the key, but um, kind of close to the wing and they had him playing there, which again, it's not a bad spot, but he had to work for a lot of his buckets, which he's fully capable of doing, but they should still work on getting him a little bit easier buckets. Just want to see a little bit more pick and rolls. I, like, again, they they both brought it up at the post um, little post little interviews. They missed each other a couple times. You know, they missed each other a couple times, and that will get better. That will get better. So, all in all, that's my thoughts for the game, man. The Clippers played very well, but I'm optimistic by just how the Lakers played so poorly, especially down the stretch, and they were still right there. So, definitely things they could do, definitely things that can get better. That bench, if you are going to play Jared Dudley, man, if you are going to play him, mind you, he didn't have a terrible game to me, but... What he provides defensively isn't that great to me. If you're going to play that dude 13, 15 minutes, man, you could definitely get that to Melo. So I'll give Ticket TV right about that one. Great game. I'm so excited the NBA season is back. Real briefly on the Pelicans and on the Raptors game, I saw all, all that game. Siakam, that dude's a freaking monster. Um, but I'm not afraid of Toronto. Um, as a Heat fan, from what I saw of him, it was a good game. I'm not afraid of Toronto. They're not even playing Lonzo in the fourth quarter of games. And I think Lonzo had eight points or something like that. Uh, again, Lonzo's still learning how to play. Brandon Ingram had a very good game. Lonzo Ball still learning how to play, man. It's a uh, give him time to develop and grow. Lonzo Ball fans, just don't get hyped up anytime he has a good game. Give this young brother some time and 
come in with the narrative of like he's not that dude yet man he's still learning how to play it unfortunately but accept that because again he does do some things well he had his moments but i mean he just disappears in games man like this time where i didn't even notice he was on the court i even played a prank on one of my boys like look at long the ball out here hitting threes man i'm like i'll mess with you he's not even on the court right now he didn't even notice so just you know just just something to, to look at but that's my thoughts y'all this this, I mean, again, I thought it was a great game. I think this is, um, I think it's going to be an excellent season. And I can't wait to keep watching, man. I think there's a lot of good things you could take away from this game for the Lakers. And I'm just, I'm just excited to see it play out. Let me know what y'all think, man. Maybe the sky is falling for you, some of y'all. Maybe this means that, um, LeBron James is a bum in 80s, a bum, and it's not going to, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to laugh. Though. It's not going to work because they had one game where, um, they didn't play particularly well. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm out.